Okay, guys, good morning. All right, so we had an interesting discussion about who's the bad guys and who's the good guys and long-term humans and star seeds and who's better. But what I'm trying to get you guys to understand and to see is the big picture. And <clears throat> it's all about perspective. So if you look back completely, pull back as far as you can, everybody agrees to everything. Everything's really in the now. Time, space is an illusion. And we agreed to come here and do the Starseed game. Long-term humans wanted to come and do the long-term human game. Gaia came to play her game, and now she's coming out. So the point here is that there is no good, there is no bad. There is just experience. There is no good, there is no bad, there is only experience. And as creator gods, that's what we're all about. The problem that I have on this planet, which is necessary for them to have the experience that they want, but that I struggle with so much, and always have, is the inability for everyone to see everyone else's point of view. But see, I'm a star seed. Of course I would feel like that. But it makes it difficult because on the one hand, there's a lot of verbiage. There's a lot of people saying, well, we should do this or I want to do that. But they don't actually do it because they don't want to hear my side. They, they don't want to hear my opinion. Uh, they want to me to hear theirs and for me to agree with them. And I do agree with them. I think that theirs is beautiful and wonderful and I get it. I understand from conceptually why they do what they do. Uh, I am a, a retired nurse. I do, I did work in a hospital around a lot of adrenaline junkies. So I get the adrenaline junkie move. What is frustrating to me is that they don't understand uh, me not wanting to do it. Um, <clears throat> me coming and saying, okay, I get your game, but I wish that you could listen to mine. And that's what's led to my particular loneliness. And it's gotten worse since I died. And I came back with more clarity, you see. But the ultimate goal here is to see that from one perspective, from the biggest perspective of all, everything is perfect. But then as you get down to different perspectives and different games that you're playing and different eyes, that's when you develop what is good and bad for you. And that's the trick here. It's not a matter of any is anything good or bad. Is it good or bad for you in the moment based on the game that you are playing? If you came to play and be intense and um, be a gang member in the middle of bad part of New York City, then is being a gang member bad? Well, ultimately, no, it's not bad. <clears throat> for society, it's deemed bad. It's supposed to for you to play the bad guy, which is the experience that you wanted to do, so that is good. And that is why using arbitrary words like good and bad so loosely and flippantly is dangerous. That is why judgment is dangerous. That is why, uh, for, for me. Now, ultimately, of course, it's exactly the way it was meant to be. And that's what I struggle with. I go back and forth between understanding that everything is exactly as it's supposed to be and to not judge. But I am me. And from me, the human me, the good guy me, then I'm going to look at things and go, oh, I think that that's a bad thing. And then I have to correct it. The starseed me has to correct it and go, yes, but that's a creator God and they're doing exactly what they're meant to do. And this constant going back and forth and back and forth from all the different perspectives is a part of what we do whenever we're creator gods. So whenever I talk to you guys, I'm talking to you guys from different perspectives all the time. You ask a question, I answer it from the perspective that you're asking. Uh, our job is from a different perspective. Uh, you came to be a star, star seed to help Gaia transition to the fifth dimension. That is what the star seeds came for. Long-term humans, most of them came to have the experience of the third and fourth dimensions as low as possible in a human body. Gaia came for an experience too, and she's transitioning into another experience. So... It's not about judging each other. It's about understanding for a starseed. 
for you to get home. It's about understanding all of these different perspectives. And those things have been around for a long time. Walk a mile in the other man's shoes. You know that old saying. And that is truth of, of tolerance. But ultimately, intolerance is what created the situation that people wanted to come and have. So when you ask me a question, you need to understand that I'm answering a question from a certain perspective. So there is no good or bad or judgment in that answer or in that thought that I do in a video. It simply is from that perspective that none is better than the other, none is good or bad, but from the perspective, from the role that you are playing, this is the answer. Okay? So you decide what role you want to play. You decide what is good and bad for you. You decide what your end goal is. And so does everyone else. And if you focus on what your desire is, you will go to a collective that agrees with you. You don't have to control anybody. You don't have to force anybody. You just understand your way is right because you're a god. You understand the game as a, as a whole. And like I wrote to somebody, if you consider... If you uh, keep saying to yourself over and over and over, this is God's at play, God's at play, not children at play, God's at play. And they have, we gods, we have a lot of power and a lot that we can do in our play. Okay? So, and a lot of roles that we can do. Uh, there are countless gamers out there that love gaming. And they're just as likely to play the bad guys as the good guys. Every single game that I've ever seen is a difficult situation. Is that not true? Almost all of the really good movies uh, incorporate a very bad situation that needs to be resolved. It is one of the favorite games that is around now. Difficulty, struggle, overcoming it. That is a very constant in this particular arena of gameplay. So just like gamers enjoy going over and over and over and playing the same kind of games over and over and over, so do long-term humans. That's how it works. You're playing as a starseed. You are playing a different role, a different game that is much more temporary, and then you'll go back and do other games. But this is what is involved here. So what I want you guys to understand is perspective. I say that a lot, and I really mean it. So when, it, when you're looking at somebody else's game, then this is what I do. I assess the game that I'm seeing and how I'm responding to it. I decide whether or not that particular game moves me forward to my ultimate goal. If it doesn't, I smile at them sweetly and I say, have fun in the game. And then I focus on something that I would rather have that gets me to my end game of my game. And in that process, every time I do that, I'm surrounded by a collective consciousness that agrees with that minuscule step in the, in the getting there. And ultimately, I will be in 5D unless I die first, and then I'll go home. And that is my ultimate goal. So what I want you to understand is you can look around and watch the gods at play, and uh, even if it's not your game, you can say, hey, awesome job of games and play, and then get back to the business of playing your game. Because their game has nothing to do with yours other than to let you know where you are in your game. Okay? Alrighty. Let's end that one for now. Another busy day today. Had some paint issues on the car, and it's a little... Might rain today, so this should be interesting. Okay, guys. I love you guys so much. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.